Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to create app services in the Azure portal. Okay, let's get started. Open browser and then access into the portal.azure.com website. After that, you need to provide the credential in order to access into the Azure homepage like this one here. And on the top menu, we have the search bar where you can type in the keyword here for searching the resources in the Azure portal. Because for now, we are going to work with the app service. So I will type in the app services. Yeah. And in the third result, you see we have the app services option. Or you can click on the quick icon in the Azure services section. Yeah, click on this one. The system will direct me to the app services page. It will list down all of the web service we are using in the system. So here, let's click on the create button on the top menu. The system will direct me to another page, which allow me to create the web app service. We have some tab here. Basics, deployment, networking, monitoring, tasks, review and create. So now let's follow step by step to enter the information for some few here in each tab. Yeah. So the first one, we are going to enter the information for the basics tab. The first one is project detail. We have the subscription pay at you go. And below that, we have the resort group. Let's select the resort group. You want to create the web app service. I will select the resort group and go to the next one. I need to enter the information for the instant details. So here I will enter the web app name. I will name it is the CNB8 app. Yeah. And for the publish option, I will select the first option relating to the code. And for the runtime stack, let's click on the drop down here. I'm going to deploy a .NET web app into this app service. So I will select the option for the .NET 6. Yeah. And the operating system will be the window. And for the reasons, I will select the option here for the East Asia. Yeah. Okay. And go to another section for the app service plan. I will keep this one by default here. Yeah. And for the SKU and sizing for the app service, by default, it will select the standard one. You can click on the change sign. And then you can pick up some of the option here. You can select the environments for the depth and depth for the person or the isolated option. It will be the advanced networking and easier for scale up or scale down. And here in this demonstration, I will select the option for the person. Yeah. And here I will see like another standard. In this of using only the standard one here, I will using another option. Yeah. Okay. So I will select the option E P three V two. Yeah. And then. Click on the apply button. Okay. And then go to the next option. I click on the deployment. You can do some integration for the CI CD. I mean the continuous deployment by providing the accessing for the GitHub account in order to deploy it automatically. However, in this demonstration, I will try to deploy it manually by publish the code from the tool. So here I will keep the option e disable networking button. For the networking button, you can enable the network injection 
or even visible it. So here, I will keep this one by default. Go to the monitoring option. Yeah, so here for the monitoring, we should enable the option for application inside for checking the issue. I mean the log when we have any issue, so the application inside will keep all of the log or activity in the file for you to easier to find the root cause of the issue. So here, go to the next option, tasks, and here you can keep this one by default. Just click on review and create button. So this one, you can review some of the option before creating the web app service for the project here. If you think everything is okay, so you can click on create button. The deployment is in progress. Yeah. So now the deployment is complete. You can click on the go to result to see. So this is the, an overview of the Genviet app. We have the URL here for this application. Genviet app dot Azure website dot net. Let's copy this one and then open it in the browser. Yeah. So here. The web app is running and waiting for the content. This is the default page of the Azure. Yeah. Deployment Center. Yeah. Back. Quick start. Oh, yes. Okay. So now, come back to the app service. Yeah. You can find all of the information in the overview tab here. Essential information. Research groups, data, the running, location, subscription, and subscription ID. And we are able to deploy the code via the FTP here. Okay. And the below, we have some the chat here for checking the activity data in, data out. Yeah. And we see, we can see some of the activities for the website. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. So now, I think that's all for today. Following this video, you know how to do some configuration to create a web app for your project. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.